I grew up in a church knowing about Jesus, knowing what he did for me, but to learn about grace is something I didn't really understand. So I was like, okay, cool, I know Jesus, and I'm good, I'm going to heaven, that's great. But kind of still kept at a distance, because for me, I'm like an all or nothing kind of person, and I knew that if I really gave everything, like everything would change in my life. I'm Katherine O'Brien, and I'm a world changer. So I went through high school and um, just grew up having fun with my friends. And I was kind of happy with the whole go to church but still be in control of a lot of other things. On New Year's, my senior year, my parents had a Bible study at our house and I was going to have a party afterwards <laughs> with all of my friends. I remember coming downstairs and I had on this little like black dress and high heels and did not look godly at all. And one of my dad's really good friends and mentors came up to me and said, you are so beautiful. Will you take a picture with my wife? And I remember thinking, I do not look like beautiful in like a good way, you know? Later that night, I was like totally drunk. And I remember looking in the mirror and um, like who was looking back at me, I knew it wasn't me. And I remember having this thought like, who is that? And being like, now I'm a Christian, like this whole battle like raging in my heart. I remember God saying like, that's my grace, like in my mess and in my like ugliest times, God said like, you're beautiful. I actually gave my life to him that night, I had this crazy encounter with God and I'm like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> because like I said, I'm like all or nothing and like in that moment I made that decision to just be like everything. He just spoke to me and it wasn't like an audible voice and I never heard God like this and it was just like move to Colorado and go to Karis Bible College. So um, coming to school it was just like this whole new reality. Like I remember thinking I don't know how to do anything anymore. Like I had to throw like all my old clothes away because like they're not appropriate to wear and uh, God had to reteach me a lot of things and so I was just in this place of being like so vulnerable but so hungry because I had no idea that any of this stuff was out there. And so I just remember being like, oh my gosh, I have like two years just to date Jesus and just for him to renew my mind and teach me who I am. Just to have simple truth taught in a way that was so life-changing was a huge deal. And to be around people that were just like, I want to learn more about the Lord and grow my relationship and we don't totally have a plan, but he said this, so that's what we're going to do. It was really encouraging to be in that atmosphere. I say time and time again, Jesus, you're so smart because you sent me to Karis. And I think it's so important because experiencing God and like the presence of God and all these different things are so important, but really learning like foundational truth in the scripture and the word. Like I'm all for having like crazy encounters with the Lord, but then it has to be joined with the word of God. And I really felt like that's something that Karis Bible College really goes for. I'm really happy that I went to Karis and would tell anyone to go if that's what God says. I've been to 15 countries in two years. I, that doesn't happen unless God just does it. Change your life, change the world. The world. <laughs>